Boom. Hello there everyone, welcome back to World of Warcraft! Yay! So we're back on TAP, you might, well depending on how long you've been here, you might remember TAP. I did a let's play of Don Moreau, and now I felt like it's time to go back to the Alliance side, because we've do, been doing so much Horde side. Like, Don Moreau is the only Alliance thing we've done, so I feel like, you know, better go and do some more Alliance. And we're doing Lock Modan. I, I've always had trouble, like, personally, me and people I know, we say, we call it Lock Modan. But I know it's, I, I think, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be pronounced Lok Modan. But Lok Modan is, yes, so bear with me, I'm, I'm gonna switch them in between each other. And it's really weird, I noticed now that I logged in here, I've been in on this character. So yeah, it was, we did Dunmoreau when Legion launched, uh, bef before Legion was launching. So it's been like a little more than two years. Hey, congrats, random guy. Paldani. Oh yeah, and I'm down here in this corner. You see, here's the hand, and now you can see it because my face is down here. Because that's the, all the like you can't have it over here, up here because that's my health and stuff. Down here is the chat, so where we see me messages and things, and up here is the minimap and other things. Down here is like my bags and a few other like details, but they are not as important as the, as the other corners. So that's why I'm putting my face there. But as I, I said, I noticed like it's raining. What? Why is it raining? I was like, in snow zones, it's usually snowing. So I just looked at the map and, oh yeah, with Cataclysm, they changed it so that South Pass is no longer part of Don Moreau. North Pass still is, but the South Pass is part of Lok Modan. Lok Modan, whatever. So we're actually already there and we have a quest in Southgate status report going into the Valley of Kings. Uh, so let's reread that because it's been more than two years. <laughs> Oh, and I have to kick in the old Dwarven voices again. Deliver Pilot Hammer foot, so it's this guy. We are due for sending a status report over to the Mountaineers in the Valley of Kings. I expect you're on your way there next anyhow. Would you mind dropping off it off for me? Just take the tunnel to the east and check in at the guard station. Hand it directly to Captain Re Re Rugolfas. Rugolfas. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. We're traveling to Lokmodan. Lokmodan. Okay, I'm gonna stop that immediately, so I don't say the name twice. I'm just gonna say whatever comes out first, and it's probably gonna be Lokmodan, because that's how I say it. So, Southgate Pass. Ooh. Yeah, it's rumbling because Cataclysm. The world was a bit unstable back then. But that's uh, almost eight years ago that launched. And immediately... The snow ends. Well, you've already seen the thumbnail, so even if you don't know about World of Warcraft, you kind of know what this zone looks like. And to this day, this is still one of my favorite zones in the game. Uh, it lost a lot of my favoritism when Cataclysm came, for reasons you will see later in this Let's Play. Unless you already know what it is. But right now we're only down here in the southern valley of kings here. This is just, this is the little valley of kings. It's only called that because I'm guessing these are all dwarf kings. <laughs> kind of a bit uh, feels like they took the inspiration from Lord of the Rings there, with having the two statues and the road. But the, it's a river in Lord of the Rings, the River of Anduin, which is spelled exactly the same name as the human king <laughs> in uh, World of Warcraft. <laughs> That's kind of odd. So, I uh, have to bring out all the old, good old dwarven vices. Captain Rugolfus. No. At East Dwarf, there's no time for formalities. With the Alliance forces under attack, the protection of the, the, of the dwarven territories becomes even more critical. The recent Trog uprising poses a dreadful threat to the king's lands. But we don't have a king anymore with the dwarves. We have the Council of Tr Three Hammers. So, well, maybe the king's lands or the valley of kings, this little area, maybe. What brings you all the way out here? The Southgate status report? Excellent, I've been wa waiting news for them. Uh, from them. <laughs> when it's so much text, I tend to stumble over my words. <laughs> for a while, with the increasing number of trogs in the hills on all sides, I fear the outpost will be the first to feel any aggressive action. 
We need to protect the lock, Zap. With so many of the king's soldiers fighting valiantly on remote battlefields, we have become overwhelmed on the home front. Trogs are tunneling up from every crevice. The trog infestation poses a, the largest threat to Ironforge. We need you, brave adventurer, to venture forth and lay waste to the trog's threat to the trog threat. Slay twelve stone splintered trogs and venture back. Wow, that's many. <laughs> Big threat there. Ooh, so we can get a stat. That that does give me really good stats, and that's a lot of intellect. But I it forces me to get rid of my shield and my dagger, but yeah, as we as you guys voted for me to go elemental shaman, I am a uh, elemental spellcaster. I don't really need the shield. I don't really get why. Sh maybe healers. Sh sh I I I don't have a high level shaman, so I don't know which type of shaman uses shields. Or a pair of pants. Hmm. But they only give me one stamina. These give me four intellect and three stamina. That's much better. L less armor, but. Oh, and Del Delaron Sharp. I, I guess it's she's. It looks like a sheath of she's. Be good. Sure, and you, Mountainer Cobbleflint. How are you? Shaman! You may or may not be aware of the trog threat looming over the dwarven lands. Well, the captain just told me, so yeah, I do know. With the Ironforge Reserve called up to the Alliance front, we're left with a fraction of the defense forces needed to keep this land safe. My regiment is assigned to watch over the town here, and we cannot leave our post for fear of invasion. But we need some pressure put on those damned trogs lurking in the hills. If you're up to the task, wage an assault on the trogs. Bring me back eight trog stone teeth as proof. Collect eight trog stone teeth. Yeah, ooh, Thorvald Deepforge. Oh, well, I, oh, I do have some crap to sell. Discolored Fang, Rotting Bear Caress. Why am I carrying around a Rotting Bear Caress in my bags? And some old gear that I don't need. Also, because of changes since we played this, I did gain a new attack uh, just as I logged in. Earthbind Totem. Summons an Earth Totem with 8 health at the target location for 20 seconds that slows the movement speed of enemies within 10 yards. So I do this. Oh yeah, and this is how, like, every race, from the beginning, all totems look the same in, in World of Warcraft. But then, uh, later on, they made it so that each race that can be a shaman has a different type of totem. So this is the dwarves totem. I believe that the old-timey totem, I think it's the tauren that has them still. Either the tauren or the orcs, I can't, I'm not sh completely sure. But I think it's the tauren that has the really old-timey ones. Oh yeah, and I also, I do have uh, the chauffeur, right? I don't know if we had the, I think we had the, oh yeah, but it's a human driver now. Franklin Martin, because it's the, on the Alliance side. Yeah, we did have this on the Glirda a bit when we did the Jara. Ah, relaxing. So, we're just gonna take this very chill, no hurry to finish this. Is this is gonna be much shorter, well not much shorter, but shorter than last time when we did the Jara, because the Jara... Is a 10 level, well, it was before, it was a 10 level zone. It f f counted from 10 to 20. Uh, Lock Modan used to be a. Now it says 10 to 60 because everyone goes to. All, almost all the zones here goes to 60 now. Uh, but yeah, Lock Modan. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do get these tiny, tiny lag spikes now and then. <laughs> Mountaineer Pebble Bitty. We we'll talk to her. I, I'm just gonna say this. Uh, now I lost track. Uh, I was talking about... Oh yeah, the level. Yeah, because... Uh, Lok Modan kind of shares that with Wetlands, another zone up here. Which is a swamp area. And that was... So this was 10 to 15, and that was 15. No, actually, now I'm not sure. I think this might have been 10 to 20, but this is... I know for a fact that this zone shouldn't take as long time. So... I don't care, do you, Tap? Nope. No way are you going to be let into the Searing Gorge. Impossible. Not going to happen. How many times do I have to tell you? I can't let you in. Do you not speak common? Are you an orc in disguise? N-N-O. No. If I let you in... If I let you in, then I have to let everybody in. 
Pretty soon your close friends will want in, then their distant relatives, then their friends, and so on and so forth. The last time that happened... Well, we won't talk about that the last time that happened. It happened. I will not open that gate. Um, Pebble Bitty, the gate is open. Ah, so it is, so it is. Carry on then. Carry on till your death. So there used to be, this gate used to be co completely closed and you could, in higher levels, get a key so you could move through, through. But this was mainly to block off lower level players from going into Searing Gorge, a high level zone that's very, very dangerous. And she would say that, so you would have to do a, a quest in the Searing Gorge. Yeah, it was in Searing Gorge to get the key to get through, but since Kara, they kind of, they just open it up. I'm like, yeah, it doesn't matter if Lowell players wander wandering there because they can't make it in there anyway. They'll just die. <laughs> so instead, now it's... Then it was to keep the zone more mysterious, like it's a high level zone. You can't go there yet. You need to be a higher level. So that's kind of fun that they kept the dialogue, but then add an option like, um... It's actually open, and she's like, oh, oh, fine then. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> ah, lock modem. So, we're not going out of the Valley of Kings completely. We're going into this little side section of Valley of Kings to kill Trogs. Trog slaying! Yes! Stone Splinter Valley. Oh yeah, it, it does show up a bit on the map with a few caves and stuff. So, oh. Hmm. I f fond memories. This used to be very dangerous, but it seems that a lot of players are here right now killing. There's a trog! Oh, and the trogs have received a, a graphical update since last. Crush! Oh, yeah, and spell ca the spells on the shaman has been updated as well. Boom! The only thing that bothers me about the trogs now is their eyes. Stone trog, trog stone tooth. Like, they... Not that they used to have... Pupils, I think. Is it called like that in English too? I'm not sure. Uh, but visible eye stuff. Ooh, I really like the lava burst when you use that. But now it they just they don't look like real. There's something odd about them. Something odd about the eyes. So right now we I don't know if it was like that when we played last, but now you have a resource called Maelstrom that charges up when you use most of your moves, and then you have some moves consuming Maelstrom, like Earthshock here. And it's those are usually much more powerful. Oh, hunting brazers, leather, but I use mail and I have greens, so that's not needed for me. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, oh, hello. Lava burst and then Earth Shock kill <laughs> Insta kill. So so far this episode is almost over. We haven't accomplished much, but that's yeah, intro we had to get to the zone. Well we were kinda in the zone already. <laughs> we were in the zone! Yay! Is this a shortcut back to Oh it is I didn't even know this existed. Huh. That must have been added with Kata. I don't remember that being there before. And there was just a lot of talking, and I want to talk about things. I want to discuss memories and uh, just show off the world of Warcraft. And we have Flame Shock that, that deals less damage. It does. It, no, it doesn't cost Maelstrom. Huh, I thought it did, but, but just like much less than. Because Earth Shock costs 60, and you can have maximum 100. Um. And because lava plume, lava burst, lava plume. That's a Pokemon move. I think I'm pretty sure it is. Lava burst is much more powerful. It is eight second cooldown. While lightning bolt, you can cast pretty much all the time. Shigaboom! And zap, zap, zap. But yeah, flame shock deals less damage, but it also deals damage over time. Stone trog tooth. So I, I'm not completely sure, but I'm. I think BlizzCon is going on right now. It's Blizzard's own. Uh, uh, boom! Oh yeah, you see, six health left. Earthshock is extremely powerful at this moment in game. So BlizzCon is Blizzard's own convention that they have for all of their games. I, 
I usually just watch some of the stuff afterwards if there's but I don't think there will be anything this year that will interest me because I don't play Diablo I don't play Starcraft I play a little bit I don't play Overwatch I don't play Heroes of the Storm uh, or any other thing I play World of Warcraft and a little bit of Hearthstone and even like they just had an expansion of Hearthstone come out so ooh it's a cave that passes through. Those are quite rare. Um, but yes, I don't think they will really announce anything big when it comes to that. And World of Warcraft, I mean, an expansion just launched. So it doesn't feel like they're gonna say... May maybe about... There is, like, upcoming patches, so maybe they'll give some info on that, but... Yeah, I don't want to know too much about the patches. I don't want spoilers. I don't want spoilers. Hate spoilers. And now because I said that, if you have any spoilers, you're gonna spoil it for me in the comments. If you're... Unless you're nice. Unless you're a nice person, you will not spoil for me in the comments. But I actually have to end this episode here. Uh, just gonna find one more trog so we can almost insta-kill. <laughs> so that is another zone, more high level. The Badlands, I think it's called. Yeah, no, not the Badlands, just Badlands. That will that is for much later. Much later. Boom! Oh, he was left with two health. Oh, he had less health, so. But I'm going to end this episode here. Oh, just as we killed the 12. Well, we need still need another tooth. But I'm going to end this episode here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Watch some videos. Hey. Boom.